For a closer look at the debt ceiling uh, showdown on Capitol Hill and the potential impact uh, on the markets and investors, let's welcome Eric Kanner, former House Majority Leader, now Mullis and Company Vice uh, Chairman and Managing Direct Director. Uh, Eric, I mean, three and a half trillion is a lot, so I understand uh, the Republicans. If you have the House, the Senate, and the President, don't you have the ability under reconciliation to do this yourself? I, what, what's the problem? Do, could they do it under reconciliation? Short answer is absolutely yes, they can. And that's been Mitch McConnell's uh, point all along for the last couple months. It's not as if he has not put the Democrats on notice that the Republicans on Capitol Hill, as because they've not been a part at all of the Biden administration and the Democrats' push to spend all this money, he has said early on, Mitch has said, hey, we are not going to participate in the increase in the debt limit. So again, all the people who are getting all nervous, I mean, I get this is serious stuff. You know, first of all, Joe, remember, I mean, we have been and seen this movie before. I participated in the movie before in 2011 and 2013. There's no question that the Democrats have a path out of this, and I believe in the end are going to take care of this. I think what the re what the reticence is is there's a, there's a few things that are standing in the way here. One is they have procedurally put themselves in a box, and it's going to take them time to get out of that box, which of course slows down the march towards trying to get through their three and a half trillion dollar spending bill. Uh, but they can decouple the debt ceiling from the continuing resolution which is the stopgap measure to continue the funding of government so there won't be a shutdown. They can do that. Uh, and Mitch McConnell and the Republicans have said that Republicans will help support keeping the government open, just don't tie it to a debt ceiling. Again, it's just a procedural thing that will take a lot of time. The second issue is very interesting that, you know, when it comes to the debt limit, so let's say that they're going to separate out the debt limit and have a separate vote on that. Um, I don't believe that they're going to, well, they've got two options, the Democrats. They could put the debt ceiling provision uh, in their large three and a half trillion reconciliation bill. The problem with that is I don't think they're going to be resolved on all those issues by the time the need for that arises in mid to late October. So their other option is to have a separate reconciliation bill aimed just at increasing the debt ceiling. The, the issue there is if you put a debt ceiling provision in reconciliation, the Democrats have to cite a sum specific as to the amount of indebtedness they'll have to incur, again, which goes back to the Democrats' disarray, which they can't decide, is it three and a half trillion, is it a trillion and a half, two trillion? So that's sort of what's behind their reluctancy to do that. At the end of the day, back to your question, they will take care of this. Uh, and uh, I don't believe we're going to see either a shutdown or a default. They can they can take care of it without Republicans doing anything, can they not? That is correct. Well, the Republicans have to join them in funding the government because, as you know, a, a continuing resolution. But th there's, that's not an issue. You, you you said at this point. No, so I you, think I think Mitch McConnell has already said they're going to help. So the Republicans will help do that. Yes. You, uh, 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 Harkening back to what you said, you've been through it before. I've, I, I had forgotten about that. You and Boehner and President Obama had a grand bargain, a big deal, all ready to go. And now the the, the narrative has changed. One side says that uh, that you talk Boehner into walking away. The other side says that, that President Obama changed the entire deal after you already had an agreement. What? Is, uh, listen, there, we, no, is that a matter of opinion, know, the, or is there, are there facts? The, are there alternate facts? So the, the the other piece of that is Joe Biden was a central part to that as oh, well, yeah, which right. is a very, which yep. a very different Joe Biden than we see going on today. Because he was the one who, you know, I met with the Biden Commission three times a week for about seven or eight weeks. Uh, and we really made a lot of progress in accomplishing some spending cuts, which over the next successive years allowed the um, the budget deals to continue because those spending cuts um, actually took the place of what happened back with the time that you referred to on the sequester. Uh, but yes, I, I think there was a little bit of all of that, Joe, that, um, you know, President Obama changed the deal. Uh, as well as in the Republican ranks back way back then, we didn't have the votes for any notion of what President Obama wanted at the time. As you remember, back then, you know, my party wanted to 
transform the entitlement so we could actually regain some fiscal integrity. And there was just not a meeting of the minds on how to do that between us and the Obama administration.